Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be exploring the new features in the Voronoi node in Blender 2.8. It's got some new stuff and we're gonna look at them. Okay, so we're in look dev mode here. This is just an icosphere subdivided and I have the Voronoi node plugged into the color, the roughness and a bump node. So we kind of have just showing the full features of what this node can do on a texture or on a shader, I mean. All right, so first we have cells and intensity. That's normal, that's been implemented for, for quite a while. But here we have on distance and closest, or I guess it'd be called the feature output and the distance metric. We have a bunch of new stuff. So these are the coolest ones. Let's go to Manhattan. This one's actually my favorite of the bunch. Let's make the uh, color a little more extreme here so we can see what's going on. About there. All right, so yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. Kind of looks like sort of sci-fi kind of hard surface thing going on. It's really, really cool. So that's what that's what that one does. Let's go to, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but that one, um, very similar to Manhattan. Just slight changes to how it looks. Then we have Mikowski, which is very different. I'll show you how it looks on intensity. This is definitely good for just some procedural, sort of making some realistic shaders for like rocks. Um, just different things. I've seen a guy playing with this and he uses all of these to their full amount and they're really, really versatile and fun to use. All right, we're gonna go to Manhattan and go to the feature output. So first we have Crackle. So yeah, these are all kind of self-explanatory. I'm not sure how I would explain these, but you can kind of see what's going on with Crackle. It just sort of like disperses the different things going on in it, then we go to fourth closest, third closest. They just tend to get bigger and bigger as the number gets smaller, second closest, and then we have closest. So I'm not sure how that would be used for what reason, but definitely just something that I haven't explored yet in terms of procedural texturing and things like that. But that's pretty much the, uh, that's the new Voronoi texture.